Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be unboxing for the first time since it left the factory, this copy of Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition. Now this was very generously donated to me by a viewer who goes by Zilch over on Twitter and here on YouTube. And Zilch also sent over those custom uh, Windows CDs that were really, really awesome. And I did a little video on those, but this was also in that package. And when I opened it up and, and saw what this was, I decided to do a poll over on Twitter to figure out if you guys wanted me to open this up or to keep it sealed. And I was kind of surprised to see the response to that poll because it was a very, very close vote. There's a very uh, divided consensus on this. Uh, a lot of you wanted me to open this up and a lot of you wanted me to keep it sealed. Now, there's really two schools of thought when it comes to opening up sealed new old stock software. Uh, you've got one hand that will say, you know, this is sealed software, you should keep it sealed because it can be valuable. Uh, and it's just, you know, keep it on, on a shelf and, you know, keep it uh, in its wrap here. Then you've got the other side that'll say, you know what, this software was made to be opened up. It wasn't made to be just kept in this sealed prison forever, right? And I kind of bounce back and forth between those two schools of thought. I do have some vintage software that is sealed that I have no intention of opening up. And then there's packages like this that I think would be cool to showcase on the channel. And I've done this a couple of times with some hardware, but I don't think I've ever done it with a Windows version, let alone a server copy of Windows or a server edition of Windows. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. But first I wanna talk about the results of the poll because they were very, very close. It was about 55 to 45, 55 being open it up, 45% being keep it sealed. And the main reason a lot of you wanted me to keep this sealed was you know that this could be valuable someday a lot of you were saying that you know this is a promotional sample it's not for resale it's sealed you should keep it that way uh, to you know preserve its value well I found out that Zilch acquired two of these copies off of eBay for about $50 each and I looked on eBay myself and there are more listings with this exact same product, promotional sample and all. And now they're going for about 80 to $85 each. Though Those are just the asking prices that you know people are asking for these. The value can obviously fluctuate over time. It can go up and down. That is pretty normal. But I don't know if this is as valuable as some of you guys were saying. Maybe it is. But with all of that in mind, I'm still going to be opening this up today because, well, that option won in the poll and Zilch told me to open this up. Now, though we are going to be opening this up today, we're not going to be installing it because, well, for one, we've already installed Server 2003 in a separate video, this copy of Server 2003 right here. Uh, this is Windows Small Business Server 2003, which is, you know, different from the Enterprise Edition here. And this is a bit of a different, you know, this is not your typical retail or I mean, this isn't a retail copy, but I would take a guess that this is what a retail copy of Server 2003 would look like. So I'm going to turn that over to you guys in a, another poll in the community tab. Be sure to let me know if you want me to do an installation of this copy of Server 2003. We can definitely do it, but I don't know how many would want to see that because, you know, we already have taken a look at what the installation process is like. But I want to spend the entirety of today's video focusing on what's inside this package and how it compares to the consumer side of things, which would obviously be with Windows XP Home edition right here so we're going to be comparing the contents of these and seeing how uh the how the contents differ which i expect them to differ a lot uh but we will we will see here now obviously on xp you had xp home edition and xp professional but server 2003 is kind of in its own lane because this is a server operating system for enterprise use in this case so without any further ado let's open this thing up for the very first time since it left the factory so i'm going to try to be as careful as i can because because I want to try to preserve the shrink wrap, but the problem is you can't really do a clean cut right across because the flap begins right here. You see, and this is kind of a separate, it is the same piece, but it's not like I have to then come down here and try to slice this open and then come back up here and do this. So we'll, we'll try to keep this as intact as we can. I'm trying to just make a clean, even cut. There we go. That's kind of exactly what I want to do. There it is. Okay, so we've got the shrink wrap intact, and the shrink wrap uh, has it's got this important sticker right here. Uh, so that was one thing that I wanted to I wanted to try to keep it, but luckily all of the stickers that were on the front about the you know promotional sample and all that includes 25 Microsoft Windows client access licenses. All of these are uh, stuck to the box itself. 
Now the box you can see it's definitely taken a little bit of damage over the years. You can see on the side here, you know, you got these like creases in here. Uh, this is because unfortunately, unlike uh, copies of Windows 95 and 98, these copies did not include a cardboard insert, which looks like this. Let me grab a copy here. So here's a copy of Windows Me. And if I open it up here, though this box is damaged, you see this cardboard box insert in here? Uh, this allows the box to keep its its shape uh, over the years. So you can see there's going to be no creases or anything on the sides here. That's not like this copy of XP here, which has this giant dent here uh, from it being smashed at, at some point. It appears we have the same thing going on with this Server 2003 box here, but this is much heavier, much heavier than this box right here. So let's see, uh, let's see what's inside. Okay, and it looks like we've got a very thick manual and a DVD case or a CD case. So we'll pull out the manual here. Oh yeah, that is a that is a thick manual for sure. You can see there's a there's a crease in it too from it being uh, you know positioned and stuck in here on this angle here for all these years. And we got a bunch of uh, paperwork here, probably our license agreement and everything. We've got Microsoft subsidiary information. So these are all of the different Microsoft subsidiaries in you know all, all these different countries here. Uh, they've got it sorted by region so that leads me to believe that this was probably just sold like it was the same copy or maybe just the contents of the box because like if this was sold in a different country they would want to have it in that country's language right like if it like if they were selling this in japan they would want the box to be in japanese and the manual to be in japanese but i guess this was included in uh, every every single box uh, just to you know make it easier for them so okay we'll set that aside We've got this, ooh, check this out. The top 10 benefits of Microsoft Windows Server 2003, do more with less. Tells you a little bit about it. More powerful, more reliable, and more secure with less time, less effort, and less cost. Yeah, server, oh, we got a little bit of a discoloration going on there. I don't think that is, yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be that way. That, that, that was probably from sticking to something in here. So this tells you you've got uh, 25 not for resale licenses, and this is your license agreement. And on this pamphlet here, you've got the four different editions it gives you some information about them so you've got standard enterprise data center and web this of course being enterprise now this other copy i have is of course small business server which is not mentioned on here at all so this probably came out after this was printed it didn't exist at the time of printing but i think this is r2 server 2003 r2 and last but not least let's go ahead and take out the case here that has the cds themselves so we can install this so there we go and check that out is that cool or what you also have that promotional sample sticker on the cd case which is pretty nice and we'll open it up here so it looks like you've got a cd here so right here you've got the operating system disk in that the classic you know, Microsoft holographic style fashion here. You can move it around to see if it says genuine and all of that. And then right here, you have this CD for uh, Windows System Resource Manager, which, uh, you know, in, in this case is included in here, which is pretty great. So there you go. Let's go ahead and close this up and we'll take a look at just, you know, to compare these here, we're gonna look at what comes in this copy of XP and see, you know, how, how things compare. Now, the design of these two boxes is very similar Similar, and that is obviously intentional and I think it looks really really nice too because you know you can see that just like literally at first glance here you can tell that these uh, probably came out around the same time and they did though interestingly enough missing from the box here you see how the XP box has the start button down there you don't have that here it's missing the start button which I find interesting um, but there you go so that's like a slight difference obviously the different color scheme is the main difference so we'll open up our copy of XP here now the copy of XP you don't have a super thick instruction manual at least not in this box here oh here's my copy of professional I just have that tucked in here uh, this is uh, I believe this is an OEM copy uh, yeah so you know it's not not as fancy you just have a little booklet here you don't have this nice packaging and everything but we'll set that one aside uh, also on this professional copy you've got the start button down there yeah just really like minor stuff I'm pointing out here but this folder right here is the only thing that was in this box now I'm not sure if we're missing anything but I believe in here we have 
uh, the manual. So here is, of course, the CD right here. And you've got your artwork that, you know, showcases some of the new features, talks about Movie Maker, creating CDs. Well, not necessarily new features, but just features that XP has. And then over here, you have your Explore thing here, which is just a little, uh, you know, pamphlet. Kind of similar to, I'd say this one right here. This is like the closest thing you got, though it's not as like graphical or anything. So there, there you go. And then right here, I believe this is the manual right here. Yeah, so contents. Get ready, install it, troubleshoot it, make it accessible, get support. So this is your little manual. Though I don't really know if it's called a instruction manual. It doesn't say that anywhere on it. it. just says start here. And this technically isn't a manual. This is a getting started guide, according to what it says right there. Uh, so this is probably your XP counterpart to this, but this is just uh, far more detailed because there's a lot of information to cover. So this, just to give you the page count here, is 268 pages. And this XP getting started guide here, 15 pages. So I don't know, I mean, maybe we are missing the full XP instruction manual or the, the getting started guide. Maybe this isn't really the full getting started guide, but it does tell you how to get it installed. And you know, you got like troubleshooting steps here, troubleshoot it. I honestly feel like there should be a, a, a much thicker manual kind of like this in this XP box. But uh, cause like in this Windows Me, box right here let's just open this up we're really diving into a lot of stuff here aren't we i believe you have a uh, a manual oh actually you don't no you've got your quick start guide right here that's all that could really fit in here i don't really think you could get a much thicker manual uh in this in this box here along with the quick start guide so yeah i guess microsoft just uh you know slimmed down the uh, documentation that they included over the years because with Windows 95 you have a book I don't think it's as thick as this but you have a, a pretty thick uh, manual slash getting started guide and with XP you've got this uh, or not this one it's this one right here this pretty tiny thing with uh, what did we say yeah 15 pages as opposed to the 200 uh, that was in here the 200 and whatever so but yeah there you go guys that's a brief little look at Microsoft Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition and how the contents of the package compares to what you would get with Windows XP Home Edition. And again, huge thank you to Zilch for your donation. I really, really appreciate it. And I will have a community poll down below uh, in the comments. I'll have like a link to it. But that is going to wrap it up for me today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel and as always guys i want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video